Absolutely. Hi, everybody. Um, yeah, at first, I, I just want to say that, uh, you know, our board is uh, really made up of some pretty amazing people uh, in all different facets of the industry. And you need to be in touch with us uh, when you have questions, when you have you have us to be able to get in touch with, not just your supervisors, not your teachers and anything else. So I'm going to be passing out cards as well as I did already. I know we're going to do that all together, but uh, use us. OK, we are here for you uh, in helping you now grow. Um, you know, my um uh, I'm third generation in the restaurant business, fifth in the baking business, second in the liquor and wine distribution business. Uh, I kind of knew that uh, by going into this industry, I would always have a place to eat, drink and sleep. And that was a big thing. So even if you had no money or you had very little of it, uh, you know, you weren't going to starve and you'd always have a roof over your head. Um, it was always looking at basics. And that really is our industry. Uh, and uh, how we serve how we serve people. Um, so I have two degrees in hotel and restaurant management. Um, lucky enough to have uh, had some uh, really good connections when I got out of school uh, to get my first job. You know, it's always like that for a credit card. You want a credit card, but then they tell you you can't get it without credit. You know, a little strange. The same thing with jobs. You know, is that uh, you know you want to get a good job, but unless you know somebody. It makes it very difficult because you're going through that, you know, that process of filling out applications. Everybody's saying no, you know, until finally somebody says yes. The great part of our industry, though, is that there are so many different facets of it. I've been in the hotel business. I've been in the country club business. I've been in the restaurant business. Um, I've been in the catering business, uh, consulting, you know. So there are so many facets to what we do that one of the things also as a board and that I've used with my friends that were on the board uh, who were mentors of mine as well, uh, was to learn more. I wanted to learn everything there was about the hospitality industry. And, you know, as my two friends here are saying, you know, it's a lot of hard work. It's, you know, it's 24 seven, that's our business. Uh, but getting out there, uh, meeting people, going to seminars, uh, continuing reading articles, you know, uh, subscribing to Nation's Restaurant News, to you know, all of these things, you know, just so that you are aware of what's going on. So when somebody talks to you about it, you go, oh, yeah, I know about that. Uh, or you go to a seminar and you meet somebody. We were just talking about it before at our table. Um, I would go up and I would meet people. I would meet politicians. I would, uh, you know, I would just go right up. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> you know, and uh, introduce myself. And you never know who you're going to meet and how things are happening. And that's our business. It's the same thing with being in the restaurant business. You, 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 don't, you never know who you're meeting when you have people coming in. And so that was always something for me that excited me because it never was boring. It's never boring. Um, going back uh, you know, into uh, the late 80s, uh, I helped create a coffee and tea company. I left the restaurant part of it for a while. And we developed Paradise Tropical Tea, which was the first tropical iced tea in the United States. And became really big at it, uh, had you know, a lot of my restaurant friends and hotel friends take it on, and it became the number one selling tea in the U.S. We sold it. Another friend of mine uh, uh, had started a small company, needed some help uh, growing it, and that was the Cheesecake Factory. So I came on board when we had five restaurants, uh, helped to create new concepts, but created business development, marketing, communication, wearing lots of different hats. Um, and... Uh, opened up over 150 restaurants, uh, helped build the brand, uh, was the face of the company for many years. So I would be on CNBC. We were public company at that time. And, um, you know, so it's hard work. Uh, I was on the road sometimes nine, 10 months out of the year. So you look at how do you balance your life and your career? I think that happens in anybody's career, anybody's life. Um, but again, that's why we're here to help you. Okay. Because we've done it. We've gone through this already and, you know, we can give that kind of knowledge. Um, I wish I had that when I was going to school, but um, you know, but now the paying it forward part is really important to us. Um, so the cheesecake uh, thing we did, I did it for over 13 years. I uh, decided I wanted to do something else and take the knowledge that I had 
to go out and help friends that were successful in their in the business, but get better at what they're doing. You know, stop making mistakes that really don't need to be made, and they could move their business ahead quicker. Uh, and so my business uh, it started out as Gordon Restaurant Group, uh, now Gordon Hospitality Group, because it does more than just restaurants. Um, we're having a great time. Uh, we were just talking, uh, you know, how much staff I have. Me, that's it. Um, I, I when if I need people to come in and help with certain things, I take them and bring them in. We do projects together, and they're gone. So I have no labor, uh, no labor cost, <laughs> which is great. Um, and now also, because again, you never know what you're going to get yourself into. Uh, a friend of mine connected me with his son who created a uh, restaurant app uh, to be able to do digital menu, digital menus, order and pay at the table, auto language translation, tremendous analytics, taking information from POS machines to uh, be able to use it personally to do marketing, loyalty, and, and all of that. And, you know, we are now really pushing it. Uh, we're doing the National Restaurant Show in Chicago. I have a big booth there in May. Um, and so it's like, you know, what can you do that you're passionate about? And uh, I've been blessed enough to have made the right decisions, mostly. Um, some not, but uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I said that some not, some not, but mostly yes. <laughs> and um, but it's fun. It's exciting. And the people around you also have to understand that you're in this industry and this industry takes time. You know, it, this is not one of those nine to five. You know, I hear people telling me, uh, you know, oh, it's Friday. I go, yeah, tomorrow's Saturday. Uh, you know, so uh, always knowing that we're in an industry that's 24 seven and uh, but really thrilled to be in it and thrilled to be here today. Well, I think as Mariah and Joe were talking about uh, and we were talking about, too, is that when you're looking for a job, um, you know, there are companies you might want to work with and they might be big names. Uh, you might want to hook yourself up with companies that are successful. Uh, that are growing, you know, that have uh, opportunities there. You might start in one place, like Mariah was saying, and then move into something else. But find that company or find that part of the business that you really want to do. And then the other part, like I said, is to be able to go out, go to these seminars, go to uh, events, uh, whether it's here on campus or just industry events, and, and meet people. You know, uh, this is not an industry where you're supposed to be shy. Uh, but yet sometimes as students, you're going to be because you're going to say, well, you know, I don't want to interrupt or I don't want to, you know, bother somebody. You know what? Interrupt. Be soft. Bother. Uh, you know, it's it's your life. You know, you have to do it. Uh, nobody's going to do that for you. Well, whatever it took, I'm here. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like it takes a lot. It takes a while. Um, but like, you know, uh, both my friends are saying you have to understand the business from the ground up. It's not something, you know, we were talking, uh, somebody at, uh, the, when we were doing our board meeting last month, you know, said, I, I want to be in event management. Well, what's event management? Okay, that sounds cool. Uh, but it's like, what does it take for you to really understand what event management is? You have to do every single thing. Uh, you know, if you're in a restaurant, it's easier than event management, I, I can tell you. Uh, because, uh, you know, so it's learn everything from the ground up, just like Joe was saying. Um, and you're going to be fine, but just get that knowledge, understand the facets of what you're doing, uh, because you'll be asked about that. And the more, you know, uh, the easier it is to advance.